Mmm. Mmm. Well, hi. This flea market madness is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Growing up, eating cereal was one of the best parts of being a kid, but I had to give it up because I realized it was full of sugar and junk that you really shouldn't eat. I've been cutting down in carbs and sugar a lot over the past year, but unfortunately, that includes a lot of yummy food, including cereal. But thankfully, Magic Spoon is here to help. Magic Spoon has zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. There's also only 140 calories. It tastes amazing, it's too good to be true. It's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and low carb. There are amazing flavors. I'm eating frosted, but there are also the other original bestsellers, cocoa, fruity, and peanut butter, plus other ones like cinnamon and blueberry. And Magic Spoon drops limited edition flavors all the time. Magic Spoon is delicious. It tastes just like the cereal we had when we were kids, but this is super nutritious. Click the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your very own variety box and use my code COUNTRY for $5 off. You can choose from the best-selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter flavors, plus the other awesome flavors, including blueberry and cinnamon. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund you your money. No questions asked. And for my Canadian and British friends, Magic Spoon is now shipping to your areas. All right, Magic Spoon around the world. So click the link below and use the code COUNTRY, C-O-N-T-R-I, for $5 off, or go to magicspoon.com slash country to save five bucks off your order today. Go grab yourself a yummy bowl of Magic Spoon, will ya? His name is Pat. And he buys crap every Saturday and Sunday, you'll know where he's at. Take a guess, it's Flea Market Madness. Oh yes, it's Flea Market Madness. Rise and shine for another trip outdoors with this Flea Market Madness. What junk will we find today? Right off the bat is an Atari 5200 controller. Likely not functioning, but I've cleaned a few in the past and got them working. Well, working may be stretching it. More importantly, there is a 5200 switch box. How much are you charging for this? Uh, 10, 15 for both. 15 pieces. for both? Yeah. Do you have any games or is this? Nah, no uh -huh. games? That I don't know. All right, well, I'll think about it, thanks. How about $10? The problem with the controllers is that most of the time these are broken. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. Like a, it's like a risk buying them, but yeah, yeah, that's not yeah, a bad yeah. price. All right. Okay. Wow, some old Lego stuff. This is before Lego realized they should license every property on the planet. Huh. The Nerf flying disc. Remember kids, Frisbee is a registered trademark of Whammo. Oh, My Little Ponies. Here's a bag of original My Little Ponies. I was picking them up for my girlfriend's nieces. This was part of Hasbro's holy trinity of 80s toys alongside G.I. Joe and Transformers. I have no idea what these are worth, but I'll pick them up! Yay, my girlfriend will be so happy! Spoilers, she didn't really care that much. And she told me to stop buying them. Bootleg Superman to the rescue! Do 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 No more Transformer stuff this time? <laughs> no. Three, six, eight. Give me all for ten? Uh-huh. There you go. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Digging. I'm digging through DVDs. Hoping I don't catch Hep B. Yeah, digging through DVDs. <laughs> right past an Atari flashback to... What the hell is this ape head? How much for this? What? Uh, all right. Oh, that's, that's not... Set it up, set it up. Don't worry, I didn't hunt this morning, so... But there's nothing to hunt anymore, so it doesn't matter. Rick, my man, whoa, Jesus, it's a third time today I'm hitting these. Derek here always has some nice toys and games for sale. I've been here like a month. They're not dirt cheap, but I usually get a discount from him below online prices. Burning Rangers, nice. What are you asking on it? That wasn't the best deal back then, but it would be now, as that game has tripled in price over the last five years. Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, that's a fun game. I, I played the arcade one on MAME uh, back in the day, that was, that was great. You think you're gonna? You think you're ready to win, and then the other person comes storming back with a with a combo. <laughs> and what are you asking on the puzzle fighter? I was asking forty for. Forty. That puzzle fighter two for Saturn. Love that game. Eh, I should have tried to make a deal for it. I never heard of that one. Galarians. 
Oh yeah, it's um before Metachlorians, there, they, there was this. Their own cheap way of explaining powers. That's a great idea. I'm gonna take that and ruin the force. Somewhere, Phil the PS2 punk is screaming that I'm not buying these. Huh? I said the fan would have worked better. Oh, yeah, I don't know. How much? Eight. Eight. <laughs> what is Kinder James? Five. <sighs> Remember Connect? What a game changer! What is going on this right here? Twenty. Uh, Twenty. What is going on your uh, swords? Each? Each. <sighs> could always use more swords to aid in my immortality quest, or I could trade them into a game store. I used to fence in college, actually. <laughs> I used to, used to do a little bit of it. Oh, swords and a silver GameCube. I want a GameCube. 30. 30? Okay. That's some good stuff. 50 for all. 50 for all. My dad had this. Model trains were the hotness for boomers to collect in the 80s and the 90s. They're pretty much what games are to us now. Eventually, most of what we have will become like this sad collection, forgotten, maybe tossed in a dumpster. Huh. Look at this guy. Rows of NES games. I would have been excited if this was 2010. Yeah, this is a dealer's stuff. Not shocked. Are these all priced individually? Um, no. I, I didn't know the I, for the most part I know the price. Uh, oh, your head? head? Yeah. Okay. What do you guys kind of crystal this? Uh, 15. 15? Uh, it's 164s. Are you looking for any specific titles? No, I mean, at this point, it's, uh, you know, few and far between. Some of these are a little beat. What about Adam's family? Um, I'll do that one for seven bucks. Yeah, the, the labels. The label. This would have been a label upgrade, but this label is worse than the one I own. Actually, most of the labels here are damaged. Right here. The label's a little messed up on that one, too, though. Yeah, for some reason, the ones I've seen are kind of like that. Some are a little sun faded. Yeah, and, and definitely. Been out, you can tell. Oh, Captain Comic. What do you have to on this one? Ten bucks. That's not a bad price. You your collector? A little bit. Oh, that's a fun one. Techno World Wrestling is really fun. Zexus is a fun one. What about Contra? Contra? 25. Yeah, all these are good for, like, a lot of these are going to be good for, like, just a player copy. JC Penny sticker, that's kind of weird. I bet you they originally came from there, too. JC Penny? We're doing used games? There's Return Jedi there. Cool. All right, I'll come back a little bit. On eBay. You sell it on eBay? Oh, Ninja Turtles. I have a bunch of Turtles <laughs> figures in my garage. If not, I may have made an offer on this entire box. Okay. Of course, the one I really wanted, Usagi Yojimbo, was more money than the rest. Eh, my luck. What's going on? More stuff coming out, or are you just, uh... That's it. That's it? That's it. Oh, what's going on? It's all, it's all dried out. NBA All-Star Challenge. Strange to find a Super Famicom game here, but this seller has had them before, somehow. Interesting old-timey baseball-themed pinball game, but it's missing the back box. Not black box, back box. I was gonna uh, take down that box. And here's a TI-99. I used to have a brand new one, but I sold it a long time ago. Uh, yeah, maybe it was sealed! It's been a weird swap meet so far. I've seen a lot of interesting things, but haven't really pulled the trigger on much. Frank? What? What's going on? Uh, uh, what's up, okay. Yeah, did I wake you up? No, well, not really, but, uh, still in bed. You see I'm up. All right, start rolling around and get out of here. <laughs> you get some CDs or something. Yeah. Okay. All right, Frank. All right. All right, Frank. Oh, he's gone. Spoilers. Frank never got out of bed. 
Play this on your uh, Nintendo Wii. The, the Wii? $20. Wii! It's a Wii! Next to worthless 90s Star Wars stuff. And here we are again. I've spent the least amount of money ever at a flea market madness, so I feel I have to buy the 5200 stuff here. You go seven on this? Take a risk still and see what happens. 35. Yeah. Needs a charge. Yep. Usually they work. Not Wario, but this is a younger reseller's stand. Don't get too excited. Can I give you a real time question for the podcast? <laughs> a real time? <laughs> Are you going to start a retro gaming convention in San Diego? Um, I thought about it. We need one, man, I'm telling you. What is going on your uh, Nintendo games? Uh, five each. Five each? These Lego robotic sets go for a decent amount of money. You can program your own AI with these. Scare the cat! <laughs> Chip Speedster. Oh man, if I was a Gen X kid, I'd be all over this. Somewhere, Fred the Chips Freak is losing his mind. And they're sealed! Aww, this Pong clone has a cute face. Oh, wow. What is going on this triple challenge? Uh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Everything's in there. I usually don't care about these Pong systems, but this one has the box and is so ordinary that it's unique. Look at those bland colors. Is there a power adapter for it or no? Uh, I think I left it in there. If not, you can buy one here. Oh, it's in there. It also has the AC adapter, which is nice because a lot of the Pong systems had you use batteries, then you had to mail away to get the AC huh. adapter. This is all stuff this person played with while watching the Brady Bunch, probably. Maybe the Partridge family? Did you go 15 on this? Tell me the truth, are you going to sell it or is it for you? It's my collection. It costs a lot of money on the internet. This is going to go in my collection. I have about six or seven Pong units. All right. I should it, but I see what you bought from me before. So. Oh, have I? Yeah, yeah. What have I bought from you? Toys. Okay, well, there. I earned it. Yay, non-sports cards. But next to them is a box of Teddy Ruxpin tapes. I have a Teddy and Grubby at home. Somewhere, Mark the Teddy Ruxpin Maniac is... Okay, okay, I'll stop. What is going the tapes? Uh, a dollar a piece. Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> yeah, they're freaking expensive online, man. What, the tapes? You yeah, Teddy Ruxpin, they want like $12 a piece for them. This one's called grunge music. I think I gotta buy it because it says grunge music, <laughs> really? Yeah, like Maybe there's like a hardcore collectors that would yeah, want it. Probably. I mean, I know they're hard to find, but... But how many people want it? That's but, a thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere, fill the PS2 punk. All right, all right, I'm done, I promise. What are you asking on the Game Boy? Oh, I'm asking 40. Although I love the Play It Loud models, 40 bucks for a red Game Boy was a little bit out of my range. Yeah, it works fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does have the batteries. Yeah, you got batteries in there. What are you asking your little multi carts? I don't know, it must be 25, eh? 10. Is your name 10? Yeah, 10, nice to meet you. Look. I didn't know your name. <laughs> hey, do I look like him? Do I look like him or what? what? Yeah, the top was 15. <laughs> It's cute. Looking back, I should have bought this SpongeBob controller, but I'm not Carl the GameCube cannibal. No, that doesn't hurt. That doesn't. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wow. Frank. What? You're not making it? No, I slept and then I was starving for some reason. I guess I didn't eat that much. I, I got bagel, so. You got basil? Bagel. Oh, that. bagels. Oh. Bagels and cream. Oh, now I'm hungry. I'm going to send myself over and steal one. Okay. All right, well, i, I got to start paying you to come out then, I guess, in the future. No, so. I just didn't feel like it. And it was hot. I don't know. I was just out of it. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. You guys are tucked back here, huh? Yeah. We tried to do it shade, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into games a little bit, so. Cool. Are you a collector or just a... Uh, I'm a collector. Nice. What's your rarest game you have? The rarest game I have? 
Yeah. <laughs> I got a couple. Like, all right. That's the one's a little beat up. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I see two Captain Comics in one day. It's so weird. You don't oh, see really? for yeah. Someone, uh, someone else had one. one. I've had that one for quite some time. Yeah. Is there any NES games you're kind of looking for? Anything? Yeah, but I wouldn't find them here. Oh really? Yeah. They're ultra rare. Yeah. What's your prized possession? Though? My prized possession? My prized possession is actually. Ever hear of the M82 demo unit? No, I haven't. Okay. It was a store demonstration unit Nintendo had. Or you put um, 12 cartridges in, and you can press a button to switch between them to play them. It's like, it was like a little unit like that, okay. went on a countertop. That's my that's my favorite thing. That's not the most expensive thing, but that's my favorite thing. Thanks for hanging out with me on another Flea Market Madness. I'll see you again soon. How are the Giants doing? Oh, they're not on. Yeah, zero, zero. Frank Crate. Yeah. Food Crate. I'll get you out to the swap meet yet. Yeah, I'm good there. It's so hot. Yeah. Tired.